Okay, now we're jumping into a little more of the complex ones. Um, noise removal effect. Um, this effect is basically, you know, great for removing, you know, constant background noise, fans, tapes, uh, you know, noise, hums. Um, I'd like to say that this is a magic tool that you can just click a button and say remove all my noise and uh, the furnace running in the background is gone or the noise of the hums from uh, fans or static or anything are gone but that's not the case that's not how it works um, unfortunately you have to take this and teach it how to um, learn what to filter out and then it will go through and filter out the noise based on what you taught it you have to train it as to what the noise is so we'll do a quick demo on this Okay, we're going to jump into Audacity here and go through our noise filter demo. Um, so we're going to go up here and open up our EVP for noise removal. Okay, uh, I'm going to go through my normal process of splitting my tracks and making it mono. This way we have a much bigger wave, more space to analyze and see it and we are all set. So this one was from uh, our investigation uh, at Burlington County Prison Museum. Uh, quite a few members of our New Jersey Paranormal Group were on this investigation. Uh, this was captured, if you were there and remember, uh, this was on the lower level. Uh, it was somewhere down near the um, kitchen uh, area on the lower level when I captured uh, this voice or this EVP. Uh, again, this is something that there is quite a bit of noise in the background. Uh, there were people shuffling around. There was a dehumidifier running down there. A um, bunch of different equipment. So uh, any one of these things could have made a bunch of background noise. So let me just play it here first so you can get an idea. This is where I'm going to be on the second floor right now on the radio. I'm going to be the first floor on the main floor. So you can hear there's a lot of white noise, a lot of uh, staticky background noise uh, in this audio. So that's what we're going to look at uh, using the noise filter to remove. Uh, one other interesting thing about this EVP is you'll you'll hear in here uh, we're using our walkie-talkies to communicate between the teams to get a location as to where everybody is and check on noises you're gonna hear right before the EVP uh, I'm not sure if you heard the EVP but we'll play it again that something weird happens with my radio and this was happening all night to various uh, team members radios uh, on different floors within the Burlington County Prison that the radios would either uh, go into this weird squelching staticky and a voice would come out of the speaker uh, Bill had his radio start flipping through channels automatically which is a feature that it doesn't do um, and then a, it stopped on a certain channel and a voice came out which uh, said a name that actually matched one of the names that another investigator uh, a medium actually felt so it was definitely a very interesting evening. So let me play this again. You can listen to the squelch kind of in this area, and then after that, you should be able to hear the very faint EVP. I'm in the first floor, main floor. So you can hear some kind of mumbling in the background, and again, it is very faint and very hard to hear. I'm in the first floor, main floor. So this is the area we're going to be concentrating on is getting the noise out of here. So the way the noise filter works is we have to sample a piece of noise. We have to teach it what the noise is. It doesn't just automatically know you can't press a button and it looks at it and says, oh, I know what the noise is and I'm going to get rid of it. You have to teach it and then once you teach it, you tell it to get rid of that and that noise is gone. Uh, so it works great when you have a piece of noise that's easy to train it with. Uh, if you're in a basement and um, the oil furnace keeps kicking on, the motor makes a very distinct noise. If you have 
uh, a clip in time where no one is talking, there's no other noise but the oil furnace running. It's very easy to kind of highlight that area, use that to train it, and then say remove everywhere that this furnace motor is. So we're going to try and find an area in here where there's not a lot of activity going on, but there is this background noise or background hum that may be created by the uh, equipment down there or the dehumidifier. I'm okay. So you can hear right in this area kind of before I start getting on a radio that we just have some of that general noise. Um, so I'm going to kind of highlight like this general area here. I don't want to get too close to up here where our noise is, so our, uh, our beeping noise from the radio. So I have this area selected. So we're going to go up here and go up to uh, effects and we're going to go to the noise removal tool. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the noise profile. We're going to use this button. So basically this is just using a few seconds of, of noise to filter it out. It's going to listen to this uh, clip and learn what it is. And it takes a split second for it to do it. So now we want to try and get rid of that noise through everything. So I'm going to hit on my keyboard again, Control A to select everything. So my audio is all selected again. We're going to go back up here to the noise removal. So now the settings for noise removal. Uh, just like with the high pass and low pass, we have a noise reduction decibel setting. We can set it much higher or lower. Uh, the higher you set it, of course, it's going to go deeper and deeper to try and get rid of noise. And chances are you're going to get rid of any valuable audio you have there. So again, you got to play with this, start at 6 do 12, play around, you know, in range. If you have to go to 24, try 24. Typically, once you get beyond that range, it's, it's pretty useless. But the nice thing about this uh, is that it is a slider, so you're not set to 6, 12, or 24. We can actually do 10 if we wanted to. So we can play around with that and get the range that we want. So for this one, I'm going to try and start about 6, and we'll see how we go. Uh, sensitivity in decibels, I usually leave this about 0. Um, sensitivity, again, you can play with it and that digs further into the noise. Um, it's very hard to use the sensitivity in a way that it's not going to get rid of other audio, so just leave it at zero. Uh, frequency smoothing, uh, again, using this, it can calm down any high frequencies, high juts and everything. Um, and it kind of tells it how far out to go in the noise profile and the frequency. And again, it's a whole science within itself. Um, People go to school to learn, you know, in the FBI and the CIA, how to remove noise from audio, track down um, people who are kidnappers and this type of thing, try and figure out where their location is. So it's a science in itself. So just trust me, you're going to be in the range of 50, 100, 150 typically in this and just play in those general ranges. So we're going to try uh, 100 with this one. And then the tact decay, you can leave basically where it is. So we want to leave noise on remove because we don't want to isolate the noise. We don't care to hear the noise. We want to actually remove it. So we're going to click remove and off we go. So if you watched, you saw that the whole wave basically scrunched down because we've moved some of the noise profile from it. So now I'm going to go back and play the whole piece of audio again. And if you listen again in this general area, you'll hear my radio. And then we're looking, we kind of hear this faint mumble, faint voice behind everything in the back here. Is there anybody on the second, second floor now, now on the radio? I'm on the first floor, floor. Okay. 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 So again, we didn't get rid of all of the noise. So we can go back and undo what we just did. See our wave goes back to normal. And we can play with it. And again, it's, it's a tweaking thing. Um, we're going to go up to 12 this time. We're going to go up to about 150 on the frequency. And we'll try again. And you can see the profile got a little bit smaller. So this time we'll start in this area so you don't have to do the whole file. I'm in the first floor of the Okay. So now we have our audio. So one thing we're going to do here is we're going to combine filters again because um, we filtered out some of the noise, but again, we, we still want to hear what's here and it's very faint. So we're going to use our amplify. So I'm going to highlight this piece all the way to the end. And I'm going to go up and do our amplify. 
and again you're going to want you're going to have to watch out because you're going to see this phenomenon where these higher peaks are going to hit the mat max so it's going to stop the rest of the audio from multiplying so i'll show you another trick with this where we go in and we're going to maximize it so it's been stopped by this so one other thing you can do is do it in multiple steps now so if i know i want to get some of this outside of those peaks a little louder i can highlight individual segments here and go up and hit amplify and amplify just these pieces in between the peaks a little bit more to try and get what we're trying to find so I'll go here and amplify and here I can kinda do a little bit in this general area So I'm sort of like evening the waves out a little bit. And again, this just takes playing around with your own audio. And if I wanted to now, I could go back and tweak it even more in between. But I think we've done enough to the audio that it should be, you know, as loud as we're going to get it uh, without a lot of distortion. So again, we'll start and play here. And just remember, it is going to increase the background noise too. So you're going to have to listen a little bit closer to hear what might have been there. Uh, but if there is an EVP, hopefully that's louder too. I'm the first floor maker. I'm the first floor maker. I'm the first floor maker. So I don't know if anybody heard that or was able to make it out. I've listened to this quite a few times and what I generally think it's saying is something along the lines of I want you to get out of here. It seems to pause in the middle but it sounds like it's saying I want you to get out of here. So I'll play one more time so you can hear it and see if you hear the same thing. I mean, I was first floor maker. Again, not a very good EVP, and that's the whole reason that we're using these filters to try and clarify them. These are not Class A or Class E uh, B EVPs, uh, even with the modification the amplifying. These are still considered Class C. You really, really can't clearly make out what, what is being said, but you know something was captured. Mm -hmm. So that's how we use our noise filter.